Christabel. You want to know what happened to Christabel Abbott? Well, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sort of curious as to how everyone is doing after all of these years. Everyone. Right. Well, my friend, you came to the right place. Wow. That's Christabel? Yep. You know, because usually 13's a bad age. From the first grade on, she just got hotter every year. <laughs> That's weird. Dear Lord. Oh, God. Is that, uh... June Fig. Mm. The naughty. Ooh. Naughty? It's a very well-known law of physics. The hotness of one girl is directly proportional to the ugliness of her best friend. Wow. June Fig. Huh. You know, it's sort of sweet that they stayed friends all these years. Sweet? She's like some hideous dragon guarding the princess from escape, you know? Just... <laughs> What? In order to gain access to the hottie, the naughty must be appeased. You're saying that June is the reason that Christabel is still single? Of course she is! That, my friend, is the whole purpose of the naughty! Christabel Abbott is the hottest woman in Los Angeles, but no man will ever win her heart without getting past that monstrosity, and she will destroy you. No. No, this is fate. Fate is the reason that she is still single. Look, I came 3,000 miles to get this girl, and, and it's gonna take a lot more than a June fig to stop me. I like your moxie. Yeah? Good. You're gonna need to see the file. Ma! Bring out the file! Coming, precious! <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> the hottie and her every move. But th th this whole thing is about Christabel Abbott? You should see the website. Now then, according to my records, she has a two-mile jog every morning past the Santa Monica Pier. She stops at Danny's Beachside Cafe for a light breakfast of ice blend and mocha and fruit salad. She'll pass the north end of the pier between 6.15 and 6.18 a.m. The benches that face the ocean are the best ones to view her from, because if you face the other way, then the sun gets in your eyes and you lose the whole effect. You are so screwed. I am? He's just buttering up the freak to get to Christabel. This is your competition, my man. Where the hell did you get that? Mom saves the old issues. I actually got to put it back under her bed before she realizes it's gone. I'm not sure that he's after Christabel. I actually think he likes June. Well, um, has he ever technically asked June out on a date? Well, not really. Any, um, one-on-one -on -one action whatsoever? He offered to fix her teeth. Then he hasn't closed the door to dating Christabel. He's just doing a favor for her hideously deformed friend. <gasps> You're going through the front door. He's going through the back door. He's a back door man. It's a time honored technique. No, but, but, but what if Christabel doesn't have a back door? Or, or what if it's locked? You know, and everybody just goes through the front door. Oh, I'm not interested in you. I just want to be friends. Oh, oh, excuse me. Is that my wiener hitting your schnitzel? Oh. What am I going to do? Easy. Shadowing. Shadowing? Yeah, just make sure they're never alone together where he can impress her without you being there to deflect it. What you can't do is let him show you up in any way. Okay? And if he ever tries to take off his shirt in front of her, you gotta make sure it only happens over your dead puny body. Shirt stays on. Got it. And secondly, if the shirt ever does come off in front of her, poke out her eye. Eyes poked out. And thirdly, lie. Lie? Oh, come on. I thought that the most important rule in relationships was to be honest. I'm sorry. Uh, are you a former Marine that graduated from Harvard and fixes needy children's teeth? I got two words for you, my man. Lie. Time is one thing we all wish we had more of. And with the Abbleway Look at you. Less time and effort, you sad, sad man. <sighs> well, I'm crashing your pity party. Oh, yeah, it may be too late for me. But there's still hope for you. <clears throat> Ow! You dick! I, I can't. 
can hear you. You're a foot away from me. Look, okay, there's going to be a whole world about waiting for you if you give up now, Nate. It's like a wise old lady once said. If you give up on your dream, you die. Are you quoting me flash dance? There's only one person that can help you now. She'll meet you at Danny's Beachside Cafe at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock.